what is a fraction? A fraction represents a part of a whole, or more generally, any number of equal parts. For example, 3 over 4. So 3 represents the numerator, and 4 represents the denominator. In this video, I will show you everything you need to know about fractions, and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you would like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first part of fractions. What is a proper fraction? A proper fraction is a fraction with the numerator smaller than the denominator. For example, 1 over 2 is a proper fraction. What is an improper fraction? An improper fraction is a fraction with the numerator bigger or equal to the denominator. For example, 3 over 2 and 4 over 4 are improper fractions. What is a mixed number? A mixed number consists of a whole number and a proper fraction. For example, 1, 2 over 3 is a mixed number, whereby 1 is a whole number and 2 over 3 is a proper fraction. Therefore, 1, 2 over 3 is a mixed number. What are equivalent fractions? Equivalent fractions are fractions with different numerators and denominators that represent the same value or proportion of the whole. For example, 1 over 2 is equal to 2 over 4 is equal to 4 over 8. Therefore, 1 over 2, 2 over 4 and 4 over 8 are equivalent fractions. to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers. So when we encounter an answer which is an improper fraction, we have to change it to a mixed number. So in order to change an improper fraction to a mixed number, we divide. For example, 5 over 3. So 5 divided by 3 will get 1, 2 over 3. So therefore, 1, 2 over 3 is a mixed number. And we can take that as a final answer. to convert mixed numbers to improper fraction. For example, we take a mixed number which is 1, 2 over 3 as an example. So 3 is the denominator. We multiply by 1 which is the whole number and then we plus with the 2 which is the numerator. So we get 3 times 1 in bracket and plus 2. Then the whole thing over 3. So we have to make sure that the denominator is the same as the question which is 3. So therefore, the answer is 5 over 3 which is an improper fraction. So how to add two fractions together? So let's look at example 1. So 1 over 3 plus 5 over 6. So first of all, we look at the denominators, which are 3 and 6. So we have to make the two denominators equal. So this one, we have to make it 6. So I multiply by 2, top and bottom, so I get 2 over 6. And then, we plus with 5 over 6. So when the denominators are equal, we can add the two numerators together. Become 2 plus 5, which is 7. So 7 over 6. And then, from here, we have to convert it to a mixed number. So we get 1, 1 over 6. So this is the answer for example 1. For example 2, 3, 1 over 2 plus 2, 1 over 4. So first of all, we look at the whole numbers. So 3 plus 2, so 3 plus 2, which is 5. And then we look at the fractions, 1 over 2 and 1 over 4. So we have to make the two denominators equal by changing this to 4. So therefore, top and bottom, we have to multiply by 2. So we get 2 over 4 plus 1 over 4. Okay, so we get 2 plus 1 over 4, which is 3 over 4. Then we bring down the 5. So this is the final answer, which is 5, 3 over 4. How to minus fractions? Let's look at example 1. 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4. First of all, we look at the denominators. So here is 2 and here is 4. So we have to make the two denominators equal. Therefore, we times 2 top and bottom. So it becomes 2 over 4. And then we minus 1 over 4. 
and then we subtract the numerators so 2 minus 1 over 4 therefore the answer is 1 over 4 now let's look at example 2 6 minus 2 1 over 4 so first of all we look at the 6 so this one we have to convert to a mixed number which is 5 4 over 4 because 5 plus 4 over 4 you will get 6 then minus 2 1 over 4 and next we minus the whole numbers which is 5 minus 2 and then the fraction will be 4 over 4 minus 1 over 4 so we get 4 over 4 minus 1 over 4 become 3 over 4 so therefore the final answer is 3 3 over 4 how to multiply fractions let's look at example 1 2 over 5 times 1 over 3 so first of all we multiply the two numerators which are 2 and 1 so 2 times 1 and then we multiply the two denominators which are 5 times 3 so it's 2 over 15 so this is the answer let's look at example 2 what if it's given two mixed numbers so 2 1 over 3 times 1 1 over 2 so firstly we convert them into improper fractions so it becomes 7 over 3 and times 3 over 2 and then we see what we can cancel 3 and 3 we can cancel so we get 7 over 2 and then we have to convert this improper fraction into a mixed number so the answer is 3 1 over 2 how to divide fractions let's look at example 1 4 over 5 divided by 1 over 2 so when you see a divide sign we have to change it to times and then when you see the fraction on the right side of the divide sign you have to flip it upside down become 2 over 1 so therefore we can times the numerator with the numerator and denominator with the denominator so we get 4 times 2 over 5 times 1 so 4 times 2 is 8 5 times 1 is 5 and then we have to convert this improper fraction into a mixed number so we get 1 3 over 5 Okay, let's look at example 2. 3 over 5 divided by 2. So 2 means 2 over 1. So first of all, we change the divide into times and then 2 over 1 become 1 over 2. And then we multiply 3 times 1 and 5 times 2. So the answer is 3 over 10. To solve what must way involving fractions so first of all we need to understand what's the meaning of board mass so B stands for bracket O stands for off D stands for divide M stands for times A stands for addition and S stands for subtraction let's look at example 1 4 over 5 minus 3 over 5 times 1 over 2 so according to board mass we have to solve the bracket first okay so 3 over 5 times 1 over 2 we get 3 over 10 so which means that I have to change this denominator become 10 so therefore a top and bottom we have to times 2 so we get 8 8 over 10 so 8 minus 3 over 10 so we get 5 over 10 and then we have to simplify this okay by top and bottom divided by 5 so we get 1 over 2 and this is the simplest form as for example 2 7 over 8 plus 3 over 5 divided by 6 over 15 according to board mass we have to do bracket first so 3 over 5 divided by 6 over 15 we have to change this divide to become times and then this fraction we have to flip it upside down become 15 over 6 and then we see what we can cancel so 3 and 6 we can cancel become 1 and 2 and then 15 and 5 we can cancel 3 and 1 so we get 3 over 2 okay and then we look here let's look at the denominators 8 and 2 so this one the denominator here we have to change it to 8 so therefore top and bottom times 4 then we'll get 12 12 over 8 so after that we add together so 7 plus 12 then over 8 we get 19 over 8 and then we have to convert it into a mixed number become 2 3 over 8 so that's the final answer What is the meaning of off concept in fractions? So off means multiplication. So let's look at example 1. 1 over 2 of 80 kg is equal to 1 over 2 times 80 kg, which means the answer is 40 kg. 
Let's look at another example. 40% of 1,200 pupils. So 40% means 40 over 100 of change to times 1,200. So therefore, when we calculate, we'll get 480 and then write down the unit pupils. So that's the answer. Well, that's all for now. Do you wish to see more videos like this? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys will keep on learning, keep on practicing and keep on watching my videos and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!